How are you doing? Nice to see you on time, Robbie. Nice to see you, Phil. Didn't realise you slept at work as well, I said, Paul. Morning, Tans. What are you going to call Morning, morning. 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 Who's got my long jumps? Hello, people. Today, we're going to talk about the Motor Max Tornado. A viewer, uh, a subscriber of mine a long time ago, requested that I do a video about tornadoes. And when he asked that question, he or she, I'm not really sure, um, I didn't have any. So I had to start looking and I wasn't finding very many and the ones I was finding were in really rough shape. Well, I just found this lot on eBay. Uh, it was There were six uh, Motormax tor uh, toys that were all brand new and two of them were Tornadoes. See there, we've got a for the first time ever, I'm not sure I remember ever seeing a copyright on the bottom of any of these airplanes, Motormax or Zymex, but that's what we're seeing here. So we've got a copyright, 1995, made in China, and that's a registered trademark. I don't know what's registered, if, the, if it's the name Tornado, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, mold marking A161. Not not a lot to this. No, uh, there's no plastic canopy. There's no rockets or missiles or bombs or anything. No attachments. You've just got the three tires and the two sweeping wings. This would be a really cool one to customize. So the other tornado that came with that one, I got them today, is, is also this one as well. It's the same casting with just a, a very different paint job. Now the tornado was manufactured in the 1970s. It was a joint venture between Italy, Germany, and the UK. Um, and the Saudi Air Force is now using it as well. There was 992 tornadoes produced. There's not a lot of variations and decos to choose from. But there are some really cool decos that actually existed at one time that I would love to see on uh, these little toys. So maybe someday I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get to do that. That would be really cool. Stand by now for the tornadoes. Nine of them about to pass out overhead. They're going to be retired next year based at RAF Marham and behind them you will see the lightnings, the brand new lightnings. Here come the tornadoes. Well the third one I have is the earliest variation I have with a plastic canopy and it's made by Motormax. Now I've had this for a long time. I bought this when it was brand new um, out of uh, Odd Lots here in Ohio and um, I, I found about eight or nine of them different and I you know there was dozens on the shelves and I'm kicking myself now wondering why I didn't buy more of them uh, but I bought one each and so nine of these, I got the, the Mirage and the Tomcat and the F-111 and the A-4. So 
this was probably 95, 94, 95. So this may have been just before uh, these were produced. Uh, it's really hard to say. I'm not exactly sure when, uh, but that, that would kind of make sense in the lineage. This was certainly the first variation of the Tornado purchased by, you know, Motormax from Zalmex. So this is an original Zalmex casting. And we're going to open this because I want to see what it looks like. And I just haven't haven't been able to find one that's in good, good enough shape that I feel comfortable buying it. All right. There she is. This is the the last. Oh, and it has a copyright as well. That's interesting. And the same trademark. Huh. Yeah, I've never seen a copyright. So I'm wondering if the Mirage has the same copyright on the bottom. Well, this is really cool. It's got the addition of, of stickers along with a uh, plastic canopy. Now, from what I've gathered, the tornado was produced by Z or Intex and was advertised in their last catalog. Now my last catalog, my, my latest catalog by Intex um, and Z is 1993 and the tornado is not in this catalog. So um, I don't know. I don't know if the tornado was a product of Zalmex or not. That's, that's a good question. But either way, these are the three that I have. And um, so now I get to see it. It's finally, I, I bought this in probably 95 or 96 at, a, at an Odd Lots. It might have been 97 or 98, but it certainly wasn't in the 2000s because I had moved by then. And I remember the store that I had bought it at. And that store has gone now. So it's been... It's been at least 20 years. I kept that in the package. But... Thanks for watching, people. Make it a great day. Just illustrates, doesn't it, you know, how, how much interest there is in the old girl and, uh, and how much um, people want to... Um, to, to, to pay their respects, if you like, in, in some sense, in, in saying farewell to, to what has been an iconic aircraft for the Royal Air Force. Shortly after one o'clock, the moment they'd all been waiting for. Blink and you missed it. Within four minutes, at a speed of around 485 miles an hour, they were over Duxford. Tomorrow, they conclude over bases in Scotland. A fond farewell to a giant of the sky. Malcolm Robertson, ITV News, Suffolk.